called Rochas Aboga Awosa because Awosa men sleep with him. If you doubt me, ask him, Joya, is it true or false? He will tell you. This man who is the governor of Imo State, I have been telling you people anything I tell you. You know, when I was saying he's a Kura Awosa, some of you didn't believe me, did you? You thought he was just a joke, you know. We are trying to put him down. I have the facts and figures, and allow me to proceed, please. Rocha Sokocha was born of a woman who was previously married to Urata. I don't want to delve into people's private life, but I want to give you context to tell you that I know what I'm talking about. If you ask Okorocha, I will tell you. The mother was previously married to a family at Urata in Uwere. I think that is the barrister's village. The woman could not conceive any child, and then he married a man from Oboko, or Boko as the case may be in Idato South, where she gave birth to two girls. So Rocha Sokrocha has two senior sisters, two. You know, as I told them, let me not announce on radio before I need data on somebody. It's like uh, uploading something on the, or downloading something on the computer. Everything we need is there within five minutes. Okorocha, I didn't even put it out in the public. I only asked for your children. We know where they are. We know where they are sleeping right now. And everything about you is, we have it. Okorocha, you have two senior sisters. And then your mother traveled, left the father that gave birth to the two girls and traveled to Plateau State without who you claim is your father. Is that true or false? Your mother traveled to just Plateau State, where she met an Awosa man. That Awosa man got her pregnant, she gave birth to two sons. You are the first, and you have another brother. If what I'm saying is wrong, please tell those around you. If you ask Okorocha's two senior sister, they will tell you that their mother left them and traveled to Joss Plateau State. And that they were not with the father. After a while, Okorocha came back. The mother reconciled with the father that gave birth to the two girls. That was where he got his name from. Okorocha's father is an Awosa man. You must understand this very, very well. This Okorocha, in case you don't know, was a bus driver doing Kabu Kabu in Lagos. Ask him and he will tell you. This Okorocha did 419. They invited a white man. The white man came and they killed him. I am giving you facts. Okorocha, you used the money to set up a commercial school in Jos. Is that true or false? Through your biological father, who is an Awosa man, you were introduced to T. White and Juma. Is that correct? The money you got from the white man, the forward, you actually killed him. We are now currently working on the identity of the white man so we can inform the British authorities. Anytime you come to England, you'll be arrested. We want to let you know that you cannot remain the governor of Imo State. Let's continue. Ask your culture what I'm saying if it is true or false. You were a Kabu Kabu driver. When you doubled into 419, you killed a white man that came to the zoo you claim you were doing business with. The money you ventured into your first business, which was commercial school. Commercial school in Joss, is that correct? Then your biological father, who is an Awosa man, took you to three white and Juma. It was T.Y. Danjuma that introduced you to Babangida, you know, the circle of, um, of homosexuals. Let's continue. The contract they gave you, I'm telling you what happened, the culture, how you made your money. They gave you a contract. That contract was to supply police uniforms and also to supply them with Hilux vans. The person that approved the contract was Babangida. That was your entry into government. 
After a while, as Obasanjo came in, you were still very close to those of them that uh, Babangida introduced you to, courtesy of T.Y. Danjuma, of whom your father, your biological father, took you to. There was a problem with the, the jet you're riding, you're flowing now, in the, jet, the jet you're flying. You claim you own a private jet. I now want to tell the world how you got it. And if I'm lying, go and ask Ulushegun or Basanjo, and he will confirm this very story I'm about to tell you. I told, don't mess with Radio Biafra. The day you came out to say nonsense about Radio Biafra was the day you dug your grave. Ask Ulushegun or Basanjo. I don't believe in saying things and so don't ask. Go and ask people and they will tell you. I want to prove to the world that this man is not an evil man to start with. He was sent by Awosa people. Awosa people sent him. And you don't know. Because his father is Awosa. Biologically speaking, if he's doubting me, I want to go out to place a strand of his hair or anything from his body for DNA test. He wants Radio Biafra to close down. I can assure him on my honor. I will close it down. Bring out one sample of hair or anything from your body for DNA screening. It will prove once and for all that you are Awosa. Your mother is Igbo, yes. But your father is Awosa. Because your mother was separated from the man you're not answering his name when she went to Joss and was pregnant by Awosa men. Anything I tell you is correct. Anybody opposed to Biafra, go and ask your mom. Your mother must have gone out to the house, man. Nobody, oh, 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 nobody on this earth. If you're breastfed by a Biafran woman, born of Biafran father, you must be a Biafran. Or else your father is a house, oh, 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 an example. I am proving it to you. Beyond every conceivable doubt. Beyond every reasonable doubt. What I'm giving you are facts and figures. His first business was commercial school in Joss. Where did you get the money to build a commercial school in Joss? From the death of a white man, you tricked into coming to the zoo. You killed him in Lagos. You took his money, you went to Joss to set up a commercial school. We are working on the identity of the person you killed. Once we get it, we we'll make sure we'll not travel out of the zoo again. We are going to deal with him. Okoracha, he is in one almighty mess. I'm telling you. They don't know who we are, do they? They think because we, sometimes they chat with us, so they talk, we talk to them on Facebook and on Twitter and on WhatsApp. They think and I, we are in the same class. We are in the same league. No, we are not. <laughs> Let's continue. What problems today do Okoracha have with Obasanjo. What problem does he have with Obasanjo? I'm asking you. Because they asked him when Obasanjo took over power to come and assess, to come and refer, because he does contract now for government. They asked him to come and, um, and refurbish the aircraft. Obasanjo asked him that since he is in good terms with most of the people that have occupied um, or have, you know, been at the helm of occurrence of power in the zoo, what does he think about the jet? That he should go and revamp the jets. Those, Obasanjo said he doesn't want to use it. So they want it revived and put his military jet used by Abdul Salami Abubakar, by Abacha and all the rest of them. He said he wants a new one. So they should go and refurbish it. They gave Aboga Awosa, Okorocha to you, the very contract to go and refurbish the aircraft. Okorocha, or Aboga Awosa, which is what I prefer to go on because they deal with him as they would deal with a girl. Kandimana Bambandibo. Ntoo. You see, when I tell you I don't, I don't call me an Igbo person, I have my reasons why. They have brought shame to that name, Igbo. Shameless fools everywhere. Shameless everywhere. 
Do you know Krocha came back and told Obasanjo that the jet is no longer worth it, it needs to be scrapped. Obasanjo gave him the go ahead, go and sell the aircraft. He bought it himself. There was nothing wrong with the jet, he only needs servicing. That is the private jet he has today. Ask him, did he bring out your money to go and buy a private jet from anywhere? The answer is no. Now you understand why they want to close Radio Biafra, don't you? We must continue to do our work. Because um, they will hear it. The, um, the zoo is in trouble, I'm telling you. Then, Obasanjo proceeded to go and buy another jet. Why is it that Obasanjo openly called you a thief? That you, he thought that um, he gave um, Imo people a thief before you know Hakim. That he doesn't know that a bigger thief was coming, which is Okorocha. Why did Obasanjo say that? Because you condemned an aircraft, said it was not good. You went and bought it as scrap for very little money. That is the private jet you have today. Is that not correct? I'm giving you facts and figures on Okorawasa, the so-called governor of Imo State, the, the Sokoto Caliphate person. Because you have now gotten commercial school in Joss, you needed money to finance your contracts. You went to UBA, you went to Zenith Bank, you went to Progress Bank, three banks you went to. If Okorocha is there, put on radio, be afraid be hearing. Let him tell you because I have the names of the people, including those that approved the loans, I have their names. I don't want to get too many of them into trouble, but I have the names of those who are in the public limelight and I will mention them. You took loans to finance your contract with the zoo government. You did not pay UBA their money, did you? No, you never paid. You used Imo state funds to pay UBA. Is that not correct? You were also owing Zenith Bank. Instead of that, you appointed Chike Okafor of Zenith Bank from Ivitu Boma that gave you the loan. You appointed him commissioner for finance. True or false? I give you facts and figures, true or false? Uh, when, oh, oh, Rochester is a rich man. I'm saying the Bunu Sotra Mechiano. None of these men have money. We have seen them before. Some of you, maybe you were not born or you were too young. There was a man that came out called Aton Zeribe. He said he was an arms dealer. He's a very rich man. He's a multi billionaire. He's a lie. They gave him the mandate to go and start negotiating with Hawasa. Today he's no longer speaking. He has made so much money, he has run indoors. <laughs> now you understand my problem with Igbo people. Igbo. You, now you see my problem with them. Let's continue. This man called Okorawosa built a hotel. He built a hotel. You know what they called Lamond Hotel at Okibo Road. That is the new government house. That is where you go to take appointment. He doesn't stay in government house. He stays in his hotel to run the affairs of the state. Rocha Sokorocha Okorawosa, of course, or Abogawosa, depending on your preference, was one of those that liquidated Progress Bank. Together with somebody called Ferdinand Anagara, be mentioning these names to him so he will know that we know him very well. This particular deputy governor he, he has now is Eze Madhumere. This Eze Madhumere, the deputy governor with Rochas Okura Awosa, they belong to the same rent boy homosexual group with Awosa people. True or false? I am mentioning the name of the deputy governor of Imo State. Is it true or false? Is it not why you opened up a homosexual nightclub in nowhere? True or false? I'm asking you. I give you names and figures. The person that gave him some money to try to settle UBA at that time was the man that owns Orange Drops. You must also understand that he used his influence with Awasa people to delay when UBA threatened him to sell all his assets. He used his Awasa influence to stop them. Then he made the Chike Okafor of Zenith Bank from Utu Boma, Commissioner for Finance. He used government money of Imo State to settle. 
is UBA loans. All the nonsense you're seeing, the roundabout you're seeing at Oware, and outside, he took loan from Islamic Bank. He handed over Imo State Hospitals to Dr. Shuaibu from Kaduna State, and I was a man. Every general hospital now in Imo State is under the control of Awasa al Majlik Boko Haram. Why is that? That was the condition given to him before the Islamic Bank gave him the loan. They gave him the loan and named him the favorite son of Sokoto because his father is Awasa Fulani. The mother left the father after the birth of the two senior sisters. She traveled to Jos without the consent of the husband. That was where an Awasa man met her, pregnanted her, and she gave birth to two boys. She brought them back, and she was accepted by the man. Go and ask the genuine Mr. Okorocha. He is Okorocha because he is brown in color. Light, you know, by our own standard, very light-skinned. The two daughters, older daughters, they are light-skinned. You know, Okorocha, who go in Awasa. He dresses like an Awasa man. Everything about him is Awasa. The only thing on his side that is um, evil is that an evil woman carried him in the stomach for nine months. That's all. Everything about him is ours. And that is the man who is the governor of Imo State. What a shame. I told them, anything you hear on Radio Biafra is gospel. They destroyed Progress Bank, but is going to Islamic Bank to go and take a loan. Do you see how they reason? Do you see how they act? Do you see how they think? This is Radio Biafra. I have many more coming. That is your Imo State Governor.